Yeah, I guess when I first noticed that I was starting to lose hair, I was about 21, 22. After I'd have a shower, I'd notice my hair falling out, and I would check my hairline and just see it was receding. Around, like, 23, I think I went to the hairdressers and saw, like, the U at the back of my head. Um, when I was going to haircut, and I was like, oh, no. About one in four men start losing their hair before the age of 30, with most blokes experiencing some degree of male pattern baldness by their 50s. But despite its prevalence, dermatologist Dr Ashling McNally says many men struggle to come to terms with their receding hairline. I think there is a misconception that because male pattern hair loss is a very common condition, um, that it shouldn't cause an individual any problems. However, I don't believe that to be the case. It certainly can have an enormous psychosocial impact on that person and their self-image and their self-esteem and it, that can flow onto their social interactions. Most of my friends have older hair, so I was the first in the group to start losing it. I felt quite shameful in a way. For some people, your hair is your identity and if your identity changes, uh, it's a very personal thing. Like I thought people bold in their like 40s or 30s or 40s, so yeah, like balding at 20, I was like, oh no, like, am I gonna find a partner who's gonna find me attractive? Every now and then I'd look in the mirror and just go, why? You know, how can other people have this big head of hair at 60 and I'm 22 and it's disappearing? The male pattern baldness is largely caused by the action of testosterone on the hair follicles. And so those individuals that are impacted have high levels of testosterone at the follicle level or an increased genetic sensitivity at the follicle level and the testosterone has a different effect on the hairs of the scalp than it does on other parts of the body. It actually causes the hair to shrink and become finer and weaker over time. The truth is, is that there is no prevention for the condition of male pattern baldness. However, your dad and your brothers, that's going to give you a little bit of an idea about your own personal risk. I've got two brothers that have amazing hair, like really thick hair. I've got another brother who actually lost hair way younger than me. I think he was like 15, 16 years old and his hair was already just disappearing. So the thing about um, being bald is once the hair grows for a few days, um, it can be quite grippy. So if you put on a hoodie, you'll notice bits of things stick on there. So you have to brush it off. <laughs> if you're outside for like more than an hour, you kind of need to be wearing a hat, otherwise you just get burnt. It's actually a lot less maintenance right now to have a little bit of hair than to have none because you've constantly got to shave it because it's going to grow back looking funny. Although there's a lot to get used to, a lot of guys end up embracing the bald look. But for those who aren't so willing to part with their hair, there are a number of treatments available. We try to tailor the treatment option um, to the patient. So it starts right from topical treatments, such as 5% minoxidil foam, which is typically applied once to twice daily to the affected areas, right through to tablet treatments, which tend to be more effective than the topical treatments. The goal of the tablet treatments is to lower the concentration of active testosterone near the follicles and in the skin of the scalp. This doesn't have large effects on the level of testosterone within the body overall. It's important to know that if it is something that you are concerned about and you want treated, the earlier we start treatment, the more hair that we can preserve and the better results we usually get. There have been times where I thought about getting treatment, seeing my doctor and seeing what they think would be the best course of action. But I also think about um, about the cost and also think about the time and if it's going to work or not. I think it's easier just to accept being bald. I reckon the benefits definitely way outweigh like the negatives like it obviously worked out to the better like I met my partner when I was bald and she's like yeah I quite like it and had no issues since. Everyone is different. Now if you're able to look yourself in the mirror and be happy with how you look with or without hair just be happy about it.